Hello everyone, today in front of me I have Motorola Moto G52 smartphone and in this video we are going to share the top 5 best display settings to change on this device. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up the settings and then go to the dis display category of it. Alrighty, so the first setting that, setting that it would like, would, would highly like you to try changing is called Nightlight. So once enabled, as you can see, it uh, warms up all the colors and make the um, screen and, well, interface colors in general more friendly to the uh, insufficient ambient lightning. So, for example, if it is night out there or the light around you is not sufficient, you can go ahead and enable this mode in order for your eyes to prevent from being obsessively tired. So let's step on it. In order to configure the nightlight setting, uh, here we can either decide what intensity we'll have by sliding this bar pretty much, or set up some custom schedule for it for this mode to be automatically well turned on and respectively turned off at some certain time frames. So here we have the start time and the end time respectively. Alrighty, we are moving on to the set uh, the second setting that is related to colors and located right below the nightlight and called, well, <laughs> colors. So here at the top of the page, we have this very uh, colorful and beautiful picture for us to be able to preview what colors we have set. Basically, uh, there are two modes to choose from, either natural or saturated. And there is also this bar that allows us to change the color temperature by sliding it. So the left, if you go to the left, uh, it makes the colors colder and respectively, if you'll go to the right, uh, at the right side of this bar, it will get you warmer colors. Alrighty, so we are moving on to the third option that is called screen refresh rate or display refresh rate, exactly. Here we have three options to choose from, either auto, 60 hertz or 90 hertz. Basically, the higher you go, so, for example, if you'll go for the 90 Hz as per the screen refresh rate, you'll get smoother animation, scrolling experience, and overall like vi visual appearance of your system. So everything will be smoother and uh, well, and that's it. <laughs> and when you get yourself 60 Hz, the animations and scrolling is not that smooth, but it gets you the better and longer battery life. So if you are running out of battery, you can either go for the 60 Hz or choose the auto screen refresh rate mode, which will uh, automatically switch between these two values uh, in accordance with the current battery state of your device. I'll leave it at 90, 90 Hz for myself because I like it that way. Alrighty, so moving on to the next option that is called peak display. Or to put it in other words, it's basically just a regular always on display. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, so. Once activated, it will show some crucial information uh, even when the screen is locked. So let's enter its settings. Here we can choose the design of the clock that will be shown at our always on display. For example, I'll go with this one, tap on done, or we can actually get back and customize it a little. And basically set the weather to be shown as well. But as for right now, I'll leave it as it is. Tap on done. Here we can uh, decide whether the, we want the background of the peak display to be animated or not. I'll leave it at animated state. And next we have some uh, configurations that we can also play with. For example, tap to wake, vibrate on touch, some notification settings like the safe reply. But in order for it to work, you'll need to set up some uh, screen lock methods or uh, block some of the apps as well which will ultimately mean that the apps that are in the blacklist will not uh, show it their notifications at the always on or peak display. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'll lock my phone as for now, tap on it. And as you can see, this peak display appears here. We can see like what the, the brief information, for example, what time is it, date, day of the week, some recent notifications and the battery state. Alrighty, and the last setting that we were to show you uh, in this video, which is basically not even a setting, it's just a small feature, but it's called three finger screenshot. And once we turn it on, we can go ahead and try it out. Basically, we can just tap and hold three fingers at any 
uh, place at our display and the screenshot will be made. So it's like the gesture for taking the screenshot conveniently. Alrighty, so that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.